Hello, in this video we are going to cover the list view object which is a container basically allows you to group a bunch of objects as a bunch of containers like I said we're going to cover the list view in Cocos Studio so let's just drag on a list view it's pretty self-explanatory based on the name it allows you to put some objects in there and scroll through them in a list like manner one thing to bear in mind with containers it can store containers as well which in turn can store containers it's like containerception right there so if we just scroll to the bottom if you set a background via this feature here you can enable scale 9 grid they so can enable clipping bounce back we'll cover these in a moment once we add some objects actually let's do that first because objects will help a lot something to bear in mind watch what happens when I add an object I'm going to keep adding some objects. As you can see, they're not actually being placed where I'm dropping them. They're being placed below the previous object. So this, this is what a list view is compared to something like a scroll view, for example, because that's very similar as well. Uh, so this is more used for, let's say, a list of names, that sort of stuff. So I think that's enough item for now. Let's just select this, scroll down. And before we get to clipping and bounce back, you can set the scroll direction to horizontal or vertical. I'm just going to stick with vertical, but horizontal is essentially the same principle. Child alignment, so you can either align it left, right, and horizontal center. Obviously, if you do horizontal, you can do top, bottom, and vertical center. But yeah, let's just deal with this. Actually, I'll, I'll leave it a horizontal center. It looks okay. At the moment, you might be thinking they're all looking quite squashed because they're literally on top of each other. You can solve this by putting a control gap. So I'm going to put something like 30. I'm going to put 40. 35. Yeah, that's fine. Because uh, this will help illustrate some of the other functionality, which we'll get to in a moment. So you can easily set a background. It's really simple if you just double click this. Select your background from anywhere on your computer. Or if you already have a image imported here just drag and drop it and as you can see it says it supports png and jpeg you can fill it in as well or you can use a gradient or nothing so if you don't want any sort of color you can do it that way you can do a solid color you can specify the color via this i'm going to go for a reddish color and you can specify the opacity as well i'm happy for roughly about 50 percent and you can have a gradient as well and for the gradient, you put a start, end color, opacity, and the direction as well. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. So let's just go back to the solid color. Keep it simple. So let's just run this and see what happens. And now let's just make this a little bigger. And now what we can do, as you can see, we can scroll through it. We can't actually scroll outside of the list view. We can only scroll from within the as you can see I'm trying to scroll and it's not working I can only scroll generally within the list view like so but it doesn't look very good when the items aren't fully on the screen or they're not fully or what I should say is when they're fully visible even though they shouldn't be so if I just enable clipping as you can see, any item that is outside of the size of the list view is now cropped out, clipped. So if I just zoom out, and as you can see, they are fully all cropped out. And at the moment, it's very static in terms of the way the movement works. So if we go here and check bounce back, run this again, zoom out, and now zoom, uh, and when I scroll to the end, it bounces back, which is really cool. It helps create a sort of dynamic, realistic physics feel to it. So that's list views in Cocoa Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. Don't worry, you don't need to remember that. There will be a link in the description. We haven't showed you how to actually access your list view in code in your project, and that's because that's not within the realms of Cocoa Studio. But don't worry, we have a tutorial 
for that on our Cocos API guide and there'll be a link in the description to that so go and check that out if you're interested in well chances are you you are interested in using it in your Cocos 2DX or Cocos 2DJS project and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day